This video is about fixing low GPU usage and stopping the settings that are hurting your FPS. Before I used these tweaks, my games were laggy and my GPU wasn't working at full power. But after applying them, my FPS went up and everything ran much smoother. These settings work on any PC, so make sure to watch till the end. And if this video helps you, please subscribe and leave a like. All right, guys, in this first step, we're going to reconfigure the Windows Multimedia Scheduler through the registry. This tweak basically tells Windows, hey, my game comes first, giving it top priority across your CPU, GPU, and even disk access. So here's what you need to do. Go to your Windows search bar, type registry editor, right click it, and select run as administrator. Once you're in, copy the full registry path that I've added in the video description, then paste it right into the address bar at the top. Hit enter and it'll instantly take you to the correct location. Now on the right side, you'll see a few entries. If any are missing, don't worry. Just right click, go to new, and create either a string value or a DWRD, 32-bit value depending on what's needed. Then set them exactly like this. Affinity, select hexadecimal, and set it to F. This makes your game use the first four logical CPU cores, improving thread, handling, and responsiveness. Background only, set it to zero. Decimal, so your game never runs as a background process. GPU priority, choose hexadecimal and enter E. This pushes more GPU power toward your game instead of random background visuals. Priority. Set it to 6 decimal for higher CPU scheduling weight. Scheduling category, type high. This tells Windows your game is a high priority task. SFIO priority. Also set this one to hide a boost file and texture streaming speed during gameplay. Once you've applied all the values, double check that everything's correct, then close the registry editor. With this optimization, your system now gives your game first class access to CPU, GPU, and disk resources. So guys, the next step is to download my ultimate GPU optimization pack. You can grab it directly from my Discord server. The link is right there in the video description. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and extract the folder. Inside, open the one named GPU Registry Tweaks. Now you'll see a file called Gaming Performance Registry. Double click it to run, and when Windows asks for permission, click Yes, then OK to finish. What this tweak does is prepare Windows to assign more system level resources to your GPU while gaming. It improves frame consistency, boosts responsiveness, and helps Windows manage background threads more efficiently. Next, you'll notice two more files inside that same folder. Low medium optimization and medium high optimization. These are customized depending on your system's performance level. If you're on a budget or mid-range setup, go with low medium optimization. If you have a powerful or high-end rig, apply medium-high optimization instead. Just double-click the one that matches your system, allow the changes by pressing yes, and then confirm with OK. What these tweaks do is balance your system's thread and memory behavior with your hardware specs. The result is smoother load balancing, a higher sustained GPU workload, and more stable frame pacing, even when background processes are running. Now head back to the main folder and open GPU Thread Tweaks. Inside, you'll find three registry files, one each for Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA GPUs. Run the one that matches your graphics card. For example, if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, double-click NVIDIA Thread Optimization. When prompted, press yes twice 
and finish with the OK. These thread level tweaks are specifically designed to improve how your GPU handles parallel workloads, which is super important in modern multi-threaded games. After applying it, you'll notice fewer micro stutters, faster responsiveness when moving the camera, and more consistent FPS during heavy action or large scale scenes. Now let's take this optimization one step further using a tool called MSI Mode Utility. Open the MSI Mode folder, right click the tool and select Run as Administrator. Once it's open, scroll down until you find your GPU listed under the Display Adapter section. There are two main tweaks you need to apply here. Enable MSI Mode. This changes how your GPU communicates with your CPU, switching it to a faster, more efficient interrupt method that reduces latency. Set interrupt priority to high. This makes sure your GPU gets priority access over less critical devices like audio drivers or storage controllers. Once you've done that, hit apply to save the changes. With MSI mode enabled and the priority set high, your GPU will now communicate much faster with your CPU, cutting down input lag, improving frame pacing, and keeping your GPU performance fully loaded even during intense gameplay moments. All right guys, the next step is to install the Quick CPU tool, which is included inside the optimization pack. After the installation is complete, the program will automatically open and bring you to its main interface. Now this part is super important. We're going to tune your CPU settings to unlock better performance, higher FPS, and lower input delay while gaming. The first thing you need to do is adjust your system power plan. Click the drop down menu at the top and select ultimate performance. This mode removes all power saving restrictions, keeping your CPU running at its maximum potential at all times. It's perfect for gaming because it ensures consistent frame rates, smoother gameplay, and less input lag. Next, find the core parking section. Core parking basically decides whether Windows should keep some of your CPU cores idle to save power, but for gaming, that's the last thing we want. We need every core active and working, so make sure to set the following values exactly like this. Core parking 100% keeps all CPU cores active all the time. Performance rate sure 100% forces the CPU to maintain top-level performance. Frequency scaling, 100% locks your CPU clock speed at its maximum frequency. Turbo boost, 100%, allows your CPU to reach peak clock speeds whenever needed. Once everything is set, click Apply, then OK to confirm the changes. Now for an extra layer of optimization, click on the Advanced CPU Settings button. In this section, enable these two important options. Enable Turbo Boost. This lets your CPU automatically push higher clock speeds when more power is needed during gameplay. Enable Enhanced Speed Step Technology. This improves how your CPU manages power and performance balance, ensuring fast response times without any dips in speed. After enabling both, just hit apply again. With these quick CPU settings applied, your system will now deliver full uninterrupted performance without throttling or power saving limits. This ensures your GPU can finally hit maximum usage, giving you stronger FPS, smoother gameplay, and zero input delay. So guys, if you're struggling with lag, stutters, or high ping in your games, then the Gear Up Booster app is your ultimate fix. It's designed to stabilize your network connection, reduce packet loss, and give you smoother, more responsive gameplay. Here's exactly how to set it up. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. 
Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Give Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gera Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now guys, in this step, we're going to disable power throttling completely using the Group Policy Editor. Power throttling is one of those hidden Windows features that silently limits your CPU and GPU performance to save energy. And that can seriously hurt your FPS and cause low GPU usage. First, open the Run dialog by pressing Windows plus R on your keyboard. Then type gpedit.msc and hit Enter. This will open the local group policy editor. Now, follow this exact path. Computer configuration, administrative templates, system, power management, power throttling settings. Once you're in the power throttling folder, double click on the policy named turn off power throttling. By default, this policy is set to not configured, which means Windows can still throttle your CPU and GPU under certain conditions. To fix that, select Enabled, then click Apply, and finally hit OK to save the changes. What this does is completely disable Windows built-in performance restrictions, allowing your CPU and GPU to run freely at full speed without interference. That's it for this video, guys. If this helped you fix your FPS or GPU usage, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips.